All right, let's take a look at the Damn Rush Editor by Jamie Fenton. From the Synthstrom user groups on Facebook, I've got the Toshiba Flash Air card, the white one inserted into the SD slot on the Deluge right here. And I'm using my smartphone, connected via Wi-Fi right here. This is the Wi-Fi of the Flash Air card that I'm connected to. Open the browser. Here we are. This is the Downrush browser. This is the root directory of the SD card. So we can browse files and we can upload and download stuff like kits, samples, songs, and synths. Let's go to samples. See all the folders. Click into one. Then you get the files. So then we can preview the files. We can download the files. All right. We can edit the files using an app. So we could chop it and we could retwist it. This app has got a bunch of different effects. Let's say, for example, if you wanted to use a compressor, you can get a compressor from this kind of thing. There's no compressor in a deluge, unfortunately. So after editing it, you could just put it right back on the card using upload, choose file here. And you could obviously move and delete things and keep stuff organized, get rid of failed and useless samples and recordings and unwanted songs. For example, if you just recorded a sample that you don't want, go here, listen to it. So you can mark them up like this, select them, and then you can press remove check files. You can rename it, so you can check it like this and select rename check file. Okay, let's take a look at a kit. So if we just click on the name. We get to an XML viewer like this, pure text. If we click edit, we get to an XML editor, which looks like this. And if we click this last icon, we come into the actual downrush viewer and editor. In a kit, you can see the names. You can open up and see details of each sound like so. It's arranged like this, like the shortcuts on the deluge. You see in these blocks for each sound. And here you see the samples like you can play them back. In the kit you can download the sounds and edit. That's basically it for samples. Let's take a look at the song. So same thing if you click the name you just get the text so we click on this rightmost icon okay so this is a song and here we see a representation of what it looks like on the initial screen when you load the project on the deluge and here we see the tracks so here's track one and you see the samples that are being used you see the name of the kit, you see the notes that have been entered into the sequence. And if you click this icon, you can copy this track to the clipboard and then you can put this track on whatever song. In which case you go right here, paste track data in field below to add it to the song. And here you see settings which is represented in the blocks like the shortcuts on the deluge. And then you see the samples used in this song. Once again, you can preview and listen. Genius invention. Big ups to Jamie. All right, and lastly, let's check out the synths. Once again, if you click the name, you just get the text. So if we click this icon, you get the editor. And here we can see the parameters and the settings and everything. And it's arranged in the blocks once again, like the shortcuts. Damn rush! Yeah!
Lastly, what you also can do is you can use downrush with, for example, a portable device like a smartphone or a pad like this. You can connect headphones and you could have sort of like a queue out where you can preview stuff without it coming out the main out of the deluge. Like so, if we open a kit, we see the samples over here. Extra functionality! Big ups to Jamie once again. Much respect and thankfulness and gratitude. I hope this video helps visualize what it actually does for people who might be slightly confused as to how it works.